Hi students, this is Anuva from Aglasim and today in this video we will discuss the questions and answers of chapter 4 from the diary of Annie Frank of class 10th English. So now turn the page number 54 of your first flight textbook and watch this video till the end. Question number 1 is, was Annie right when she said that the world would not be interested in the musings of 13 year old girl? So the answer is no. Annie was not right when she said that the world would not be interested in the musings of 13 year old. Her diary was published under the name The Diary of Young Girl. It was translated from its original Dutch into many languages and it became one of the world's most widely read books. There have also been several films, televisions and theatrical productions and even an opera based on the diary. It was described as the work of a mature and insightful mind. It provides an intimate examination of life under Nazi occupation. Annie Frank became one of the most renowned and discussed of the Holocaust victims. Moving forward to question number two, which says, there are some examples of diary and journal entries in the before you read section. Compare these with what Annie writes in her diary. What language was the diary originally written in? And in what way is Annie's diary different? So students, the answer for this question is, Annie's diary was originally written in Dutch language. Her diary is different from others in many aspects. She had named her diary Kitty. She thought of it as her only true friend whom she could confide in. She treated it as an another person who was listening to her diary accounts. Also, she wrote all her stories in it. She started by writing Dearest Kitty and ended the account by writing Yours, Annie. Her diary was a lot more personal than other diaries. Now, question number three, which says, Why does Annie need to give a brief sketch about her family? Does she treat Kitty as an insider or an outsider? So, the answer is, Annie gave a brief sketch of her life since no one would understand a word of her stories to her diary if she were to plunge right in. She therefore wrote a brief sketch of her life even though she disliked doing so. She treated her kitty as an insider because she called it her best friend and ready to confide in it. Moving forward, question number four is, how does any feel about her father her grandmother, Mrs. Cuperus, and Mr. Keezing. What do these tell you about her? So students, the answer for this question is, Annie felt that her father was the most adorable father she had ever seen. Annie remembered her grandmother even after her death. She wrote in her diary that no one knew how often she thought of her grandmother and still loved her. In the sixth form at the Montessori Nursery School. Her teachers was Mrs. Cuperus, who was also the headmistress. At the end of the year, they were both in tears as they said a heartbreaking farewell. And Mr. Keezing was her maths teacher. He was annoyed with her because she talked too much. However, Annie was able to justify her talkative nature every time. She was punished by Mr. Keezing. On each occasion, he was impressed by the manner in which she presented her arguments. So, all these incidents show how lovable and smart Annie was. Everybody was attached to her and even Mr. Keezing could not help but laugh at her essays and acknowledge her smart mind. Moving forward to question number 5 which says, what does Annie write in her first essay? So, the answer is, in her first essay titled A Chatterbox, Annie wanted to come up with convincing arguments to prove the necessity of talking. She began thinking about the subject. She wrote three pages and was satisfied. Also, she argued that talking was a student's trait and that she would do her best to keep it under control. She further wrote that she would never be able to cure herself of the habit since her mother talked as much as she did. There was not much that one could do about 
inherited traits. Mr. Keesing too had a good laugh reading her arguments. Now moving forward to question number six, Annie says teachers are most unpredictable. Is Mr. Keesing unpredictable? And if yes, then how? So the answer is, Annie felt that a quarter of her class was dumb and should be kept back and not promoted to the next class. However, she also felt that the teachers were the most unpredictable creatures on earth. Mr. Keesing could be termed as unpredictable. The way Annie always talked while the class was going on, any teacher would lose his temper. However, after several warnings, all Mr. Keesing did was to assign her extra homework. She had to write an essay on a chatterbox in this way. He tried to play a joke on her. Each time that he asked her to write such essays, she wrote very well. She kept countering his jokes. One could not have predicted that he would take all the jokes in the right spirit. Finally, he accepted her talkative nature and actually allowed her to talk in class. He did not even assign her any more extra homework. That is why it can be said that Mr. Keesing was also unpredictable. Question number seven, which is, what do these statements tell you about any Frank as a person? First, we don't seem to be able to get any closer and that's the problem. Maybe it's my fault that we don't confide in each other. Answer is, these lines show that Annie had no true friend whom she could confide in. She even put the blame on herself that the fault might be hers. Second statement is, I don't want to jot down the facts in this diary the way most people would. But I want the diary to be my friend. Answer is, this lines show that Annie really consider her diary as a friend whom she could trust and narrate all her stories to. She did not want just a diary in which she could write down the facts as others did. She considered it as her friend and named her Kitty. Third statement is, Margot went to Holland in December and I followed in February when I was plunked down on the table as a birthday present to Margot. So the answer for this question is, this statement shows that Annie was a fun loving person. She was witty and knew how to present things in a funny way. She narrated the incident with a lot of fun. The use of plunk down shows her sense of humor. Moving forward, fifth statement is, if you ask me, there are so many dummies that about a quarter of the class should be kept back, but teachers are the most unpredictable creatures on the earth. So this statement shows that she had an opinion on everything. She thought that a quarter of her class was full of dummies, signifying that she herself was intelligent enough to make it to the next class. She thought of teachers as the most unpredictable creatures on the earth because nobody could say which students they would fail and which students would be passed to the next class. Fifth statement is, anyone could tremble on and leave big spaces between the words. But the trick was to come up with the convincing arguments to prove the necessity of taking. So answer is, this statement shows that Annie knew a lot about writing. She was given the task of writing an essay as a punishment. She took it on with all vigor. She did not want to write it like others whom just left big spaces between the words to make the essay look voluminous. She knew that the trick was to come up with a convincing argument to prove the necessity of talking. She was different in her approach from everybody else. So students, that's it for this video. I hope you have received answers for all the questions. In case of any confusion or any query, drop a comment in the comment section and subscribe to our channel for watching more such videos.